My name is Spencer Gillespie, and my pronouns are she, they. The title of my thesis work is Formal Fluidity, the Blending Performance of Gender, Identity, and Art Making. For the purposes of my presentation, I will navigate my artistic practice by communicating four key themes. I will begin with important influences. Next, the methodologies within my studio. Where my work fits within art history, particularly abstract expressionism, as well as the concepts within my work and research and where I fit within today's contemporary discourse. It is important to note that I am relating to a history which largely excludes certain groups of artists, mainly Western and female artists. And excuse my language, but fuck the patriarchy. My artistic practice has been influenced by my own experience as a transgender woman, as well as by the writings of feminist and gender theorist Judith Butler. In her book, Gender Trouble, Butler identifies ritualized norms within a heteronormative society and coins the term gender performativity, which states, identities are continuously in flux as opposed to a single defining moment in time. Performativity, by Butler's definition, is neither play nor self-presentation, but a regularized repetition of habits. And it is extremely important to note this repetition of habits. Feminist scholars have long recognized gender as a social construct in which identity is based on reproductive function. This is due to what Butler terms the heterosexual matrix. This is represented as a natural relationship between gender, sex, and sexuality, which reinforces feminine women to seek masculine men and vice versa. As a maker, I am operating in a way that can enact, repeat, appropriate, and refuse the norms that decide my social ontology. By interrogating gender performance through art making, Butler presents the idea that gendering is a process. This means there is no gender identity behind expressions of gender. As you can see here, gender identity and gender expression are two very different things. I identify as a woman, and yet I use feminine and masculine tendencies within my studio. These are both social constructs, and what decides one as masculine or feminine is up for interpretation and based on our culture and society. The recognition of women's work was often undermined due to a male-dominated art world. New York's abstract expressionism is often characterized through its overt masculine approach to express one's artistic genius on large-scale paintings. Exploring my own identity as a transgender woman has led me to investigate the practices of other transgender artists, such as Yeshe Garbaz. While doing research, I found that many contemporary queer artists do not gravitate towards abstract and non-representational methods of art making and focus on figural representations of the body as seen here in Juliana Huxtable's work. Direct representation and visibility has been central to queer politics and the ongoing battle for LGBTQ rights and recognition in the public sphere. We have come to expect a politically viable queer art to include overt imagery of queer bodies, communities, or erotics. Abstraction has become a tool of resistance, undermining the demand that we must always show up in ways that are expected and provide a site to generate alternative spaces and worlds. Queer artist Sadie Benning is an exception to this rule. Benning, whose work characteristically addresses gender and feminist concerns, takes a similar non-representational approach to their practice as I do. Benning's work allows us to ask how my aesthetic approach fits within the continued legacy of abstraction and how gender can be embodied by action and mark-making rather than representational form. My intention is not to strip an artist of their self-identification. Rather, I am interested in how identity performs within the realms of politics and aesthetics that are not reducible to biographical interpretation. Within my practice, abstraction is used as a strategic tool to reject the focus on the singularity of my identity.
Like Benning, I attempt to dismantle singular readings of my work by not using overtly representational imagery. My non-representational art-making process combines with subtle markings that reference the fluid and symbolic coding of my identity. This in turn creates an alternative methodology for analyzing my work. By addressing universal and personal themes of fluidity through the lens of abstraction, while performing my unique lived experience in the studio, is my way of conversing within the gendered canon of art history. My artistic practice has allowed me a safe and healthy outlet for dealing with these frustrations. I am also able to celebrate my diversity through visual and expressive means in the studio. I bring my own personal history and story to the making process each time I enter the studio. My work is autobiographical when reflecting my written thoughts and expressing mark making. I deal with thoughts of mental health by journaling and thinking aloud. I use my body to physically express and work through these thoughts of sadness and joy. Aggressively throwing materials at the surface, gouging the surface with tools, jumping to reach the top edges, or throwing paint at the work are all examples of that. By reclaiming the materials and items from my home, I am processing a metaphorical way of relating gender and how it is constructed. My art, like life, is in a constant state of flux. There's a lack of permanence to its structural integrity and materials used. My non-representational art making process has the potential to create a conduit for exploring and embracing formless notions of art making while subverting them by inserting personal content and referencing the symbolic and gendered ideologies that are associated within abstract artistic movements within art history. Subverting gender performativity through non-representational art making while engaging in the process of highlighting my gender identity allows for a performative, fluid process in which I place myself within the world. Thank you so much.